uh, this push to globalism, the, the uh, Kalergi plan uh, under many names, and they'll never quit. You know, there, it, there was FDR who was cooperating with Stalin to ensure communism would take over East Europe. I mean, he literally did that. Stalin invaded Eastern Europe in American trucks, uh, sent under Lend-Lease as the top priority. Uh, now we, we send billions to Iran. Um, it's sort of a, a, a replay of the same theme. Either naive politicians or corrupt or subverted politicians make deals with our enemies, uh, all in the name of eventually converging with our enemies in the, in the middle, somewhere between communism and freedom or between Islamism and freedom. Of course, that's foolish. One uh, obvious axis of this huge war that's going on. But another one at a much bigger level, the real macro level, is the globalists versus the free people of various nations that just want to remain citizens of their countries and live in freedom. The people that want to put us into global serfdom, they've had a plan that's been working very well for the last century. Uh, it, it was, it was um, really going in parallel with the Bolsheviks in Russia. While at, we were fighting them in the Cold War, they were infiltrating us and subverting us from within. And while we won the military side of the Cold War, the USSR is no, is no longer uh, uh, around. Their subversive, uh, their subversive plan worked brilliantly. And it's, it's not very well understood. But the Russians, the Soviets, spent more money and put more of their talented manpower into subversion and espionage than they'd ever did into tanks and missiles. So when we look at the, at the surface level and say, well, we beat them in the Cold War, how can you say we beat them in the Cold War when you look at our colleges and they're all spewing Marxism? This is, this is really uh, now coming up the third century of Marxism. We've just seen the EU put up a giant statue of Marx in Europe that was a gift from the Chinese communists. The EU is not ashamed of communism. In fact, they co-opted much of it. Um, this, was, this was called even, you know, for the last 75 years, the convergence theory. This was American socialists pretending to be American Democrats, but they're socialists. And they were, and they were believing all along that we had to drag America and the USSR together and form a convergent political system that would work globally. Well, they never quit just because the USSR went away. They never quit. And we're seeing it now. And this, this same type of subversion with, from within, it's not only in effect with the socialists, you know, the old communists. We see it today also with the Islamists. They've, they've been so effective at subverting us from within. In fact, when Obama came, came into power, uh, he, his new FBI director, Mueller, conducted a purge of FBI and all uh, uh, federal law enforcement training manuals and protocols to eliminate every mention of jihad, of, of uh, you know, Islamic terrorism, and basically whitewashed it to the point now where American generals who are selected by you know, the Senate, American generals are politically correct uh, pawns of this subversion. They willingly go along with this mind scrub where there's no danger from Islam and we are going to somehow converge with Islam, the peaceful Islam, which is just the, uh, you know, the halfway house to being fully Islamified. So between socialism and Islamism, I think the danger has never been greater. Today, President Trump threw out John Kerry's uh, Iran deal, and this is like this is a direct attack at the globalist forces. This wasn't just the USA and Iran. This was the USA plus the European powers. So we're going to we're going to see some kind of a brushback pitch against Trump. I have no doubt. And the the um, socialist and Islamist agents of influence within our government and within European governments, they're going they're not working for our behalf. I, I would really recommend to people 
uh, more than anything else I've read in the last decade, pick up a copy of, of uh, Diana West's American Betrayal. It lays it out better than anything I've ever read, chapter and verse. And it's, it's really deep. This, um, this subversion that we've undergone is extremely deep. The patriots are, are attacked and the traitors are praised and protected. And we're seeing it from the Mueller investigation to this Iran deal. These are very dangerous times. We need to support President Trump through this. And we can definitely expect the globalist forces to counterattack now.